Uh, now we focus on the dreaded banking world and in particular on the role of the banking manager. This report is by Mark Spain. We've been hearing a great deal lately about the impressions people have of their friendly bank manager. Is he really a mean old stingy executive who wears an old grey suit that went out of fashion 20 years ago? And does he sit in his office all day long among the cobwebs, getting pleasure from autographing letters that read, your account is overdrawn, please rectify at your earliest convenience? Let's ask Enda McGowan, Assistant General Manager of the Bank of Ireland in the Limerick region, what exactly are his bank's policies with regards to the public image of their branch managers? Uh, historically, uh, the managers would have been majorly concerned with lending as a substantial part of their function. Uh, but today we, we would uh, see that their role is much wider than that. Uh, in, in particular, uh, we see it as a people-orientated role, uh, both in terms of managing their own staff and uh, in terms of dealing with people at the counter. Uh, we would clearly recognise that uh, people today have a wide, diverse uh, range of needs. Uh, and uh, we try, and the bank tries centrally to develop a range of product to meet that need. Could you describe for me, Enda, your idea of the perfect bank manager? There, I, I believe that, strongly believe in fact, that uh, our manager should be people orientated. And uh, maybe that comes more naturally to some people than to others, but for those who, who don't have it maybe naturally, I believe there's a need for them to acquire these skills, and I, I believe that you can acquire them. And maybe a measure or an indication of, as to how the bank uh, approaches that particular problem, we have uh, run a whole range of in-house courses and external courses to try to help develop that particular skill. How does somebody get the job of a bank manager nowadays? Is it the old system of daddy's little boy is the best man for the job? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I, I'm not too sure that that's what actually applied in, in the past, but um, Certainly, maybe in the past there was a thing about seniority and people sort of uh, moved into the role uh, with experience. It would be a combination certainly of experience because, uh, you know, there is probably no substitute for that in a sense. But allied to that also, uh, I think managers have to have the range of skills both in the people and the marketing area. And indeed, if I might mention just the lending, the diverse needs of, of business and farming and the community generally in the lending area today means that managers have to uh, familiarise themselves with a whole range of taxation legislation and so on. So the manager of today is a very much more skilled uh, person than he might have been, say, 20 years ago, arguably. Thank you very much, Enda. Dermot Kelly, you're the manager here at the Cardavan branch of the Bank of Ireland. I suppose you're better known in Limerick as the singing bank manager. How does this image affect your dealings with day-to-day -day customers in the bank? Oh, it's a very good image, Mark. It's a friendly image, you know, and we, it helps a lot. What do you do as a bank manager to make your customers feel at ease in the bank? Well, we're helpful and uh, we try to uh, make them feel at home in the office and we also encourage the staff here in Cardavan to do the same thing, and they do very well. You sing a little bit, Jimmy? Well, not in the office, but sometimes we do turn on uh, some tapes. I do make tapes and write a little song now and then. And uh, uh, this is mainly for promoting the bank and the office and, uh, you know, uh, to create a friendly image for the manager. Do you find that people are generally nervous in the first approach to the bank manager? I suppose they are, really. You know, that uh, goes back a long time. Uh, you have a tradition of... of of the bank manager being a stiff, stodgy, scroogey type of person, and uh, but that's vastly diminishing. Right up, John Riley, take a straw from your cup, go into the village and spend a few pounds. Young rats will be growing, and so will your hair. When all your own main bones are one with the clay. John jumped the ditch and then to him he said, I see your abrasion and you look 